Hi, let's understand the Shannon entropy and the relationship between uncertainty and amount of the information. There is a baby who loves milk. She is good at classifying if the food is milk or not. This baby loves milk. If you feed the baby milk today, the baby already super familiar with its taste, smell, so she is so certain on the milk. We can think here the milk is the input and there is no much information she will get from the input because she already knows and so good at identifying milk's taste, texture, smells, and so on. What if the baby eats spicy food? The spicy food is rare input to her and she is uncertain on it. Once she has spicy food, which is uncertain input, she will get various information such as spicy taste, spicy smell, texture, and color, and so on. From the given example, we can easily know that the higher uncertainty, the more info you will get. The famous uncertainty measure is Shannon entropy. And here is the equation which we will be familiarized sooner with the next slide. Firstly, let's move minus in front of the log. This is equivalent to the previous equation. And then let's move minus to the power of the p of i. Uh, this is still same equation with log rule. Then let's reform a p to the power of the minus to 1 uh, to the 1 over pi. And I just swapped two variables. This is still equivalent to the previous equation. Now it is time to revisit the definition and the equation of the expected value. Expected value equation is like this and the definition is the long run average value of the same experiment it represents. Here x is a random variable. For example, if the event is a coin, x can be a front side or back side. If the event is a dice, x can be 1 to the 6 value and the p of i will be the percentage how often the event will occur. And now let's look at this. Shannon entropy has exactly the same format with the expected value. Just instead of the x, Shannon entropy has log 1 over pi. Here the log 1 over pi represents the amount of the info. For example, with our baby example, we can easily know how much information are in the food or we can say how the baby is uncertain on the current food using Shannon Entropy. From this slide, you can see the log 1 over uh, pi is the amount of the information. Um, and why? How can the log 1 over pi be the number that represents the amount of the info? Okay. Let's take a step back and just forget about the log 1 over pi. But we know the Shannon entropy is in expected value. Here the i of x is the function providing the amount of info. What criteria we should consider for amount of information? Well, firstly, what we want is the more uncertain an event is, the more information it carries, just like we went over the relationship between the uncertainty and the amount of the information from the baby example. And secondly, if two uh, events are independent, the amount of the info for these two events should be just adding these two amount of info. Uh, for the first criteria, we can use the inverse probability. So while p of x1 is greater than the p of x2, i of x2 is greater than the i of x1. And for the second criteria, um, we can use a logarithm so multiplication of the values can be transformed to the adding values. Mm, Alright, okay, so that is why the amount of the info is the log 1 over pi. Some people ask why the log base is 2. Well, 2 as a log base will get you the bit you need for storing the amount of information. For example, if your random variable can have 4 different results, you will need 2 bits as you can see from the table in this slide. Um, by using 2 as a log base, we can get exactly the same bit as max entropy. Then, what if your random variable has 16 different results? 
Well, the answer is 4 since 2 to the power of the 4 is 16. Well, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the deep diving into understanding the Shannon entropy. Thank you and I will see you on the next video.